Okay, let's be honest. Everyone's talking about building apps with AI these days, but when you actually try it, you end up following confusing steps and still not getting the results you want. That's the real problem. AI has made app development easier, but only if you know the right tools and the right process. So in this video, I'll walk you through a simple step-by-step -step method to turn your idea into a fully working app. I'm Brian from Website Learners. Let's get started and build your app the smart way. All right, to build an app from scratch using AI, we are gonna do four parts. The first part is to set up your app. In this part, let's set up everything to start building a mobile app. And we're gonna do this in just five simple steps. The first step is to create an account on Lovable. Now Lovable is the AI platform that we are gonna use to build our mobile application. So to create an account, just click the link below this video and it'll take you to this Lovable website. Here, click sign up. Now click sign up with Google. And as you can see, we have successfully created the account. Now you can just type in your app idea here, like you're chatting and Lovable will start building the app for you. But if we enter a basic description like this, it can cause errors and might affect the app's features. So instead of entering basic and unclear descriptions, we're going to create a requirement document that includes all the details needed for our app design, features and other technical functions. So next, let's move on to the second step, which is to prepare the app requirement document. Now to make things easier, we have an AI tool that can help you create the app's requirement document. And to access the tool, just click the link below and it'll take you to Gravity Right. Now to prepare the app requirement document, here enter a small description of your app. Since I'm going to build an AI travel assistant app, I'm entering the same here. Once you enter that, next enter your app's name. I'm going to enter Trip Tuner. Since we are going to build a mobile application, Let's choose mobile here. On a side note, you can also create a requirement document for a website using Gravity Write. So once you're done, click create content. And as you can see, Gravity Write has generated the app requirement document with the necessary features and other details. So now we have successfully created our app requirement document. Now let's move on to the third step, which is to create a plan for your app. And in this step, we are going to create a face by face plan for our app to make the development process easier. But this keeps things organized and helps the AI to understand how to build the app properly. So to create the plan, click here. And as you can see, our requirement document has been added here. Now click create content. And here you can see that GradWrite has created the step-by-step -step implementation plan for our app. As you can see, it has separated the plan into eight phases for my app. Now this will change based on the app that you're building. Okay. Once you have created the plan, let's move on to the next step, which is to add all the details to Lovable. Now adding the app requirement document and the development plan directly into the chat might confuse the AI and it can miss some important features. So to avoid that, we're going to add the details to the knowledge base and by uploading it to the knowledge base, Lovable will follow and execute all the details and build the app exactly as we planned. So first, let's set up the knowledge base. To add that, copy the prompt given in the description below. Paste it here, then press enter. And you can see that Lovable has created a blank project. Now to add the details to the knowledge base, click here, select project settings and click knowledge. So this is where we are going to add the requirement document to start building the app. Let's go back to gravity, right? Copy the app requirements and paste it here. Now follow the same steps for the development plan. Copy the plan from Gravity Write and paste it here. Once you're done, click save. Now we have successfully added the requirement document and the plan to Lovable. Next, let's move on to the final step of this part, which is to connect Lovable to GitHub and Superbase. Before we start generating the app, first we need to connect Lovable to GitHub and Superbase. GitHub is the place where you can store all your app files even if your Lovable account is deleted or you want to make changes later. Your files will be safe there and you can access it from GitHub anytime. And Superbase is the online storage database where your app's data will be stored like the user details, messages and other app details. So first, we're going to connect Lovable to GitHub. And to do that, click on GitHub here and click Enable GitHub Sync. Sign in with your GitHub account. If you don't have one, you can click here to create one. 
once you signed in click install and authorize and once you're done click here select your account then click view on github and it will take you to the github repository where all your app files will be stored okay now our project is successfully connected to github and next let's connect lovable to superbase and to do that let's go back to lovable click on superbase here now click on connect superbase here sign in with your github account click authorize superbase and here you can see that lovable is asking permission from superbase to access the app data to enable the access we need to create an organization first to do that just scroll down and click create organization and once again click create organization now select create new project and here enter your project name password and the region to create a project once you've entered all these details click create new project and the project will be created now let's go back to lovable and here you can see the project that we just created click connect once again and as you can see superbase is successfully connected with lovable all right now we've successfully set up everything to build the app so next let's move on to the second part of this video which is to start building your app so let's build our app face by face following our plan so you can easily check out how it looks and how it works so to build the first phase let's go to gravity right copy the first phase and paste it here now click enter and as you can see lovable has started building the first phase and it is done in this phase the ai has built the welcome page which allows the users to choose their travel preferences to personalize recommendations now let's check and see how it works i'll choose some travel preferences here and if you want to see the mobile view of the application click here so this is how your application will look on the mobile and once you enter the travel preferences next the app will take us to the login page i'll enter the username and password to login okay now that we've built the first phase in the same way let's build the next phase of the application let's copy phase 2 from gravity right and paste it in lovable click here as you can see lovable has built further pages with relevant travel information and guides also users can find their travel destination by searching here next now let's follow the same steps to build the next phase let's copy the plan and paste it into lovable here you can see lovable is asking us to approve the security policies to build this phase if your application has got any security policies you can check those here now i'm good with the policies mentioned here so i'm going to click apply changes and as you can see we've got an error while building our app if you face an error like this don't worry just click here then click try to fix and lovable will make the necessary changes and solve the error for you and as you can see the error has been fixed and we've successfully completed this phase now let's build the next phase let's go to gravity right now in this phase you can see that the plan includes the sign up functionality so let's build this copy the plan and paste it in lovable you can see that the user sign in has been added to the application now let's try to create an account so let's fill in these details and click create an account as you can see the account has been created now let's see where the user account details are stored in the database so to check that let's go to superbase and you can see the account details are stored here we have successfully built this phase and now we can move on to the next phase i am going to follow the same steps so just copy the plan from gravity right and paste it here In this phase you can see our app includes the AI chat feature to assist users in real time. So let's try to chat with the AI. 
As you can see, the chat features are not working. To enable the chat feature, we need to integrate an API key of a chat service provider. To do that, I'm going to use the Open API key, which is a popular AI chat API provider used by ChatGPT. Click here and it'll take you to OpenAI. Click login. Now log in with your Google account. Click create new secret key. Then enter your app name here and click create secret key. As you can see, the API key has been created. And once you got the API key, copy it. Go back to Lowable. Here click add API key. Paste the key into the input field. And click submit. Let's check the chat feature again. And you can see that the chat feature has been working well. Great. So now we have successfully built the app. Next, let's move on to the third part of this video, which is to publish your app. All right, guys, in this part, we are going to see how to publish our app online and use it in real time. So to do that, click publish here, then click publish. And as you can see, the app has been published successfully on the web. Now let's check how the app is working. So here's the sign in page. I'll enter the username and password to log in. And as you can see, some of the leading tools destinations are already listed here. If a user opens any of these destinations, it'll show the complete overview of hotels, restaurants, and the things to do in that place. Also, users can search for their favorite destinations here and get a complete trip plan by adding location, trip date, and budget. And the completed trips will be shown here. The next feature in the app is the AI chatbot. I'll enter this question to get personalized recommendations. As you can see, the AI has created top places with its explanation. Pretty cool, right? All right. Here's the profile page where users can change their name and avatar. So this is an app that we've built using AI. Now, if you want to access the app easily on a mobile device, we can create a shortcut to add it to your home screen so that we can access the app anytime from here instead of entering the URL in the browser. And to do that, open your web app in your mobile browser, then click here. Now click add to home screen. Here enter the name, then click add. And here you can see we have added the shortcut on the mobile screen. Now let's move on to the final part of the video, which is to convert our app into an Android mobile app. All right, guys, Lovable currently doesn't have a feature to convert our app into a native mobile app. So in this part, we're going to convert it into an APK file that you can download and install on your phone, just like any other app from your app store. So to do that, just click the link below and it'll take you to the Applix website. This is the website which is going to help us convert our web application into an Android mobile app. Here, click on continue with Google. Enter your web address here. So let's copy the link from Lowable. And paste it here. Now enter your app's name. Then click create app. Choose a free plan. Now let's set the app settings. To do that, click on app info here. Then here you can add the app's logo. Just click on choose logo. Choose the logo from your device. And once you upload that, click save changes. Now, if you want to display the logo when the users open your app, click on splash screen here. Now choose the logo. And once you've completed all your customizations, click build and continue. Then click this box to verify the captcha. Finally, click build the app. And now the app is ready for download. To download the APK, click here. And the APK will be downloaded. Now let's install it and see how it looks. As you can see, our web app is now completely turned into an Android mobile app. And this is how the app looks. So now we have successfully converted our app into a mobile app. 
So that's it guys, this is how you can create a mobile app using AI. By following this video, you can build an Android mobile application for any use case. Be sure to check out Gravity Write, AI powered writing assistant that generates high quality content for all your needs. Also, you can get our latest videos directly on WhatsApp. You can just scan the QR or tap the link and hit follow. And that's it. For more interesting videos like this, do like and subscribe to Website Learners. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.